welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be using the Zulu palette. Um, if you guys are on my Instagram, you know that I just got this palette in and I've done a look for you guys already that's already up, but I didn't film a look. So today we will be using Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette. Um, today for our look, lots of bright, fun, funky colors. You guys know how much I love color um, and branching out and showing you guys different ways to use color and helping you get comfortable with it and whatnot. So we're going to use this palette today. We're going to jump right in with this bad boy because I love it. I love it. And I'm obsessed with teals. Um, yesterday I did a look using these two colors, the orange, the yellow, the pink, and the purple. So today we're going to focus on the teals and the rest of the face is going to be pretty nude because I know a lot of people go, hey, I'm really not a color person, totally okay. So we're going to do a nice bold lip, some fun funky highlight, and then we're going to go with a nude, did they say a bold lip? Bold eye. We're going to go in with a bold eye um, and make everything else pretty nude. So a nude lip, but fun and funky highlight just to kind of pull it all in smoothly for you guys. I know we're really focusing on fall this month, but once this palette came in, I had to add some color for you guys. So we will be doing lots more fall stuff, but so many of you have really loved the swatches and product shots I've done of this. So I wanted to make sure that we really did a video of this to show you guys how I love using it so much and whatnot. So we are going to dive right in with this pretty baby. So stay tuned. Okay, so for the look, we're going to start off with the eyes. You guys know I usually go straight in for the eyes when I do anything with any of my looks. Um, today, I'm going to go be going in with my, ooh, come on, with my NYX Cosmetics Vivid Brights and Pillow Talk. Again, this is a cream shadow that dries pretty quickly, but it really intensifies your shadows and whatnot. Um, I use this in a lot of my videos. This is great. This is a great base for any. It's a cool tone. Great base for any of your fall looks and whatnot. But I think this is really going to be dope for today's look and whatnot. And what we're going for. And honestly, I don't have a plan. We're kind of winging today. I've got some like random ideas floating around in my head. So we're just going to jump right in. And when I use this bad boy, I go in with a dense brush. This is just a wet and wild dense brush. I'm going to go in and I'm going to fluff it in all over. I really stay focused on the lid to pack it in and I blend it out with the same brush as it's drying. You do not need a lot of this product by any means. You never want to blend too far because remember when you put shadow on this it's going to keep blending. You're going to end up blending out to your brows, past your brows, and then it's going to look crazy. We don't want to look crazy. See how easily this blends out for you? That's what I love so much about it. Blends easily. I'm going to focus on one eye for you guys today. We're not going to bounce all over the place just because we want this short and to the point. So now I'm going to go in with a nice fluffy brush. And I'm going in with this dark teal right here from the Zulu palette. And I'm going to go in and put on the lid and I'm going to blend it out for you. much this teal is popping on top of that it's just insane I just love it and it blends out and smokes out so well with these makes the transition even easier and it sticks sticks right in there which I love and we're not doing anything too crazy and too fancy today. Am I adding detail? I sure am, because y'all know me. I love me some good detail. But there you have it. That's why I love those cream bases. They are $10 a pop, but they really, like, 
Do so now what I'm gonna go in with, I kind of took the lid off already, but it is a Suva Beauty Hydro Liner. There we go, Suva Beauty Hydro Liner. This is actually in white. The Hydro Liners, all you need to do is add water to them and it activates them. I don't know if you can see it really well. There you go. I've already added water so you can see it in there. But you just mix it. You can use any brush with these. I am actually, to help with detail, I'm using nail brushes because they are really fine. They're great with detail and everything like that. You really have to think out of the box when you're doing detail work because makeup brushes are not always small enough, especially when you're doing an area as small as your eyeballs. Let's be honest. Makeup brushes don't always go that small. When they do, sometimes the bristles just don't work. Um, so I've been trying new tools and when I'm, I've seen that most people are going towards nail art tools, which is great. So that's what we're doing. I have this bad boy here. Just has a bamboo handle that I got off of Shop Miss A. If anybody's not familiar, Shop Miss A is a website where everything um, is a dollar so that if you don't like it, if it's a hit or miss, you're not breaking the bank. So this will be my first time using this brush with you guys today. Um, to use it, but I'm just going to go and do a line right here in the corner and then I've got a nail brush for dots that I also got on the website Then I'm going to go in and add a few dots just to the front for now because you know me, I'll probably add something up later but I just want to show you what we're doing how we're doing it and what we're using and all that jazz. But usually to add water to the Super Beauty liners, you can take a brush, dip it in water like you're doing water paints with the kids. Or I just like to keep a spray bottle on hand, um, which I also keep in my client's kit, my client kit when I'm on the go and whatnot with them or you just keep in your regular personal kit and whatnot. You never know. So, there you have it. Anyways, here it goes. Let's Pray to the liner gods that they like me today. I blended all this out if you cannot see it there's a little white dot that mistake is okay because we're going and we're gonna add dots for some fun and funk to it today so don't touch it and when anything is wet you never touch it you don't want all this to touch either you see how I'm keeping my brows up if you cannot keep your eyebrows like this up hold it now don't hold your foundation if you touch it and hold it too hard you're going to smear hold your brow Keep it up. You want to let it dry before you let it touch. Now when it is like this and wet, if you go and smear right now and try and take it out, what do you do? It's going to whoop. You're going to have a whole mess. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Wait till it dries, then go in with a Q-tip or a real pointy brush and try and take it out. Or your nail, just flick it out. Same rules apply when you do liner when it does with your mascara. You let that baby dry. Let it dry. I'm gonna give you guys all the tips, tricks, and hacks like some people forget. But there you have it. Just a nice smooth line. I can't zoom my camera in anymore for you guys. Semi line. Do you see how thin that line is? This gets even thinner than my usual brush that I use, which is nice. Now, my hand shakes a little bit, but that is okay because when you go, I always start very slow, very thin, very light. And as you go, you can build it, you can thicken it, and then you can perfect the line. Now, if you're ever going in and doing your line and it's not perfection, it's kind of wobbly and everything, and then they're not even, and one looks sloppy and one looks okay, your goal when you do it is to perfect the line. So if one ends up looking thicker than the other, that is okay as long as the line is clean. Your goal is a clean line. So even though it's thick, but it looks clean and precise, that's okay. You just want it clean that's it that is it now if when it comes to doing lines your wing liner detailed work and wanting to learn to do that do this stuff before you put your entire base down that way if you need to go in with a wipe to clean up here to clean up there to whatever you need to do put your eyes on before you do anything else 
That way you can go with a wipe and you can clean that stuff up or use the tape while you were learning to do all this kind of stuff. I don't do all of that. I used to do it. I do miss kind of using the tape to get that crisp line, but as you learn, your brushes will do those things for you and you'll find tips and tricks to clean up as you go. So don't be hard on yourself. It takes a lot of practice and because I do this on the daily, we grow a little bit quicker. Some of you don't do makeup on the daily. Some of you don't work. Some of you don't want to do it on the daily. You only do it for special occasions and that is okay. That's what you guys don't understand. It is totally okay. You are not expected to learn and grow and do this as diligently as we are. Don't be hard on yourself. Please. Please. And rant. <laughs> Anyways, let's go on and put some dots. No, that's... Hold on. We're gonna get a fluffy brush, fluffy brush and add some shima. I'm gonna go, this is a little bit more pointed, a soft crease blending brush. It's a little bit more pointed. I wanna get some of this teal shimmer. Like, I really can't get enough of these shimmers. I mean, I really wanna go right above that that white line that I just put in. Before we do the dots, because if I do it after the dots, it's gonna be a whole different ball game. Woo! Can you guys see that? Woo! Woo, my God. And I'm just gonna sweep it all the way across. I'm gonna blend it all the way up. Use the noise in the background. They are still removing trees from that big storm where I lost power last week. Has it been a week finally? We lost power for two days um, from a nasty storm that came through and they're still cleaning up trees. We had two trees go down, it took down two poles um, and they're still cleaning up all kinds of other trees around and limbs and things that went down. It was just, it was horrific. And it took two days just to fix the electricity for the internet cable. Not that I was worried, I wanted necessities, but it was another two days to get it all completely cleaned up and now they're doing more to keep the area safe from, from having issues later during the winter because we always have issues. I just wanted my sanity back because my kids were not with the shits. Oof, girl, do you, do you see this? I might use this shimmer as a highlight. I pulled out mint condition from Jeffree Star, but this might be my highlight today. We just might be fun and funky. Y'all know how we roll. Mm -hmm. I'm not playing today. Nope, that is just too fucking beautiful. All right. I'm just gonna go in with what fluffy brush did I start with? This one. I'm gonna blend it a little bit. Cause once these dots go down, I don't want anything touching them. I want them popping. Popping, baby, popping. There we go. Woo! Mm. Alright. So now I'm gonna go in with my little tool. I'm gonna go in with the fatter end. What I'll do is, since the Suvi Beauty Hydro Liner is wet, you just dip it in gently. You go too far, you're gonna get covered in white liner. And then you just gently dot everything. Wherever you want to, randomly. If you wanna do pattern, if you're symmetrical, take your time doing this, please. I do like it though. Yes. We might do a white liner on the end. We could just do it. We just gonna do it. 
guess that's what we do. Like, I can't even feel this brush on my eyeball. It's so crazy. give you the link for these for shop miss a first time doing this as a wing liner i'm gonna make this a mini video just for instagram for you guys and i'll make sure it's posted on um youtube too because there's an easy way to show you how to do a wing liner you just you need the right brush is what it really comes down to let's just be honest right brush anyways let's move on to the brows i'm using my usual ardell brow pomade come on baby brow pomade in medium brown just to make just to make these babies look fine again mm-hmm mm I am not just for the shadow but that wing it's just insane tools are everything people tools so many people think it's just the product tools have the right tools and money doesn't matter just having the right tools that do a good job that's it that's the Ulta contour kit that's like barely living right now literally barely living that's okay though she loves me Maybe. <laughs> I always start with my light shade. I use a contour brush the whole time. I don't bronze my face. I just blend really, really big with my contour brush. Let me sit down low so you guys can see me contour my big forehead. We should do like a bef side by side of like the power of makeup. Because like, let's be real. so much oh you just want to stop and stare i hope you guys are loving this palette as much as i am i'm so not a like a nudie fruity girl but you know i just realized i didn't i didn't comb my brows <laughs> okay i'm going they look awfully square in the front why oh yeah duh amanda you gotta brush them all right, I think that's good enough. Well, let me comb these babies. And we didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't even comb them up. Uh, can you tell it's been one of those weeks? I mean, it's not a bad week. It's just, it's getting in the swing of things. I'm like so excited that I'm finally like able to, <sighs> get back to normal I just feel like I've been October was very hard on me I can't even like I don't even want to go into details but it was rough just on a personal end it was rough 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 but that's okay we we owned it still <laughs> no matter what we did get done or didn't get done it's still always Halloween and split world Y'all already know the deal. Y'all already know. So, we'll just leave that there. Because y'all will still get some dope shit for Thanksgiving. I already have ideas brewing. 
I will probably be doing some dope shit filming for next week. I don't want to spoil it though. I want it to be like a dope, dope surprise. That's what I get excited for. I love surprising you guys. And you guys being like totally like, wow. Wow, I live for y'all's reactions. I hope you know that like, when we get a, like a wow moment out of you guys, or your positive feedback, I live for that. Like, I'm like, yes, I did something that you guys love. Like anything I'm doing is for you guys. That's why we do the polls. And I wanna see what you, I wanna do what you guys wanna see. That's what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? And that's what gets me pumped. That's why we do the polls and ask for comments and feedback. This is for y'all. I just like to create it. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all get it. I know you do. Because you guys just get me. That's what I love about y'all. When I say I got shit going on, y'all don't even ask questions. You just go, okay, handle your business. We'll see you when you get back. I don't even got to be like explaining nothing to y'all. Y'all just get it. That's why I appreciate y'all. Appreciate you. All right. All right, all right. That brow looks normal now, right? Doesn't look like some painted on, half-assed, wackadoo job. Like, I don't know what was going on for a second there. <sighs> just saved myself. All right. Now I'm going in with my Tarte, Tarte's um, Amazon Clay Blush in part. It's part of their birthday collection that you get for your birthday. I'm trying to use this up. Y'all see me use it in like every video. I do look. You see, I haven't done anything here. I went to go put blush on. <laughs> I'm like, mess today. <laughs> I hope y'all are laughing with me because this shit is comical. Uh, goodness, today. My goodness. Anyways, y'all yeah, tell them how mess. Anyways, it's from the birthday collection from Sephora. Y'all should know that. All my Sephora shoppers. I can deal with all that after because I have to do this. Anyways, I am coming in with Wet n Wild's. Uh, I don't know what color is this. It's a Wet n Wild pencil. Calling your buff. There you go. Oh, you're about. We're going. We're doing a new lip today. I'm gonna put a little something, something on top of it. Now, when I do use a pencil, I use it all over my lips, especially with a lipstick. That's what I'm using today. I'm using a lipstick. Um, and it's a lipstick you can't get anymore. I'm sorry, but it's like my favorite nude, my go-to nude. For everything. My go to nude. Um, which maybe I'll see if I can find a dupe for you guys for it because it's a dope, dope color. Um, it's actually from Lime Crimes Unicorn Unicorn Lipsticks. If you guys have not tried these lipsticks, they are good lipsticks. They are thick, they are super pigmented, they last, they are creamy, and they smell amazing. Amazing. This one is called Coquette. I have two of them actually. I bought them when they went down to like, I think like eight bucks. Usually their lipsticks are about 18. So I got them for like eight and I've got a variety of odd colors, blue, green, purple, yellow, and then two of these shades. But they're really good nude that I really like and they're great. I really, I really love them. I wore them actually in yesterday's look for my Juvia's place. Um, so I will see if I can find um, in my collection a color that's equivalent to it that'll help you guys find something for it because their lipsticks are amazing If nobody's tried them. I highly suggest I'm a I love lime crime, but their lipsticks are great For that and nowadays If you go to a drugstore their lipsticks are like 14 bucks I'm sorry, I'll spend four more dollars to go get a lime crime over a drugstore. I'm sorry depending um, things like I don't feel like drugstores should be that close to brand other I consider lime crime a high-end high brand. That's me They shouldn't be that close in price That's me though That's my humble opinion We're going with Anastasia's Moon Chocolate 
look at. And I think today, I'm just gonna do some blue eyes. We'll make this easy and painless. back to show you guys the finished product stay tuned all right guys oh. all right guys so this is the finished look from juvia's place zulu palette finish up the other side of my face there you go contour the highlight i went in and put in lashes from felina lash and veronica her lashes are amazing i always link everything that i've used down below but i hope you guys are loving the zulu palette as much as i am from juvia's place it is super pigmented super blendable and super amazing anyways thank you guys so much for sticking with me um, and watching all these tutorials with me. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Make sure you comment down below, hit the like button, and share this video with all your friends and family, and stay tuned for all the fun fall stuff that we have planned for you guys. Um, I'm still in the works with tons of other stuff, and I have two palettes coming in, a palette from Carity and the new Morphe Nights palette that just released on the 7th. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys don't miss the looks that I create from those two palettes from those two brands. I know you don't want to miss out just to get reviews, see the likes you can create with them, and see how amazing they are. So anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you guys. Welcome to the Split Fam, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next tutorial.